just taken the two covers off these beds. This is going to be the onion bed. And I'm very happy the way it looks at the moment. So it's been uh, covered up since about September last year. No weeds. So what I'm going to be doing now is give this a light tittle lava with a hoe, a top dressing of super phosphates, and hopefully it'll rain in between then and a couple of weeks time when I'll be planting out the onions. This Wolf Garden soil miller is an ideal tool for this job. Although it's been covered up, it's still quite moist underneath. But I'd expect that to be because, say, when I first took the allotment on, I double dug all the beds there and put a good layer of cow manure in, and it does really help retain the moisture. I'm going to have a little tidy up on these beds now. So it's mostly surface weeds, although we've got a few nettles and so there. And I think in this bed here, we're going to be putting the um, parsnips and maybe the swede as well. That's the first pass of weeding these beds. I'll do a more thorough job when I come to getting it ready for planting out. As of yet, I've not actually finalised what crops are going into here, so uh, I'll have another closer look. I just had a nice little bonus here. There's a container of potatoes up the top, I'll clear in that bed there. And got quite a lot of sprouts coming out the top, so I thought I'll just have a look. I've gone through it and uh, got them there, Charlotte potatoes, <laughs> a lovely crop that is, and we'll be popping them in the pot for the Sunday lunch. I've just finished labelling up the final six containers ready to plant the Sao Palmyra potatoes. I'll probably be doing that a little bit later on. The onion bed's all finished now, that's been top dressed and I've given it a water in so that's more or less ready to go. And uh, I think there's only one more bed to weed. Sometimes it's nice to just have a sit down after you've done a bit and just listen to the birds singing. Priceless. I'm just finishing off by planting the final six containers of my potatoes. And these are the Sao Palmeira. And that will see me done for my potato crop for this year. Uh, the compost I'm using is the potato compost from, I'd used from last year, actually. I just put it in the bin, took all the old roots out in there. And to give it a bit of extra boost, I'm using this 6X. It's a natural fibrous fertiliser. I'll just give that a, a sprinkle in there like that. And uh, I've run out of actual potato compost, the granular stuff. So instead, I'm using this stuff. <laughs> this is called Graumar, and it's a well-balanced, slow-release fertiliser. On the MPK, I think it's 777. So I'll just give that a tittle in and mix it up. And because the uh, main crop potatoes, I'll only actually be using two tubers in each and uh, planted as normal. I've got a detailed video in my Grow My Daisy series. The picture will come up there or hopefully it will. And uh, if you want to have a look in more detail how I do it, take a look at that. There'll be a link in the notes as well. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with these and I'll bring you back when I've finished. So there we have it. All done. Six containers of Sao Palmyra. Just noticed the... Uh, first early, the very first plantings of the Charlotte, poking the reds up, so I'm going to remove the net from them. These three beds here are where the brassicas are going to be going, and uh, 
as you can see, it's got a, a top dressing of rotted manure on there. And I've just turned this one over, and I must say, I'm very happy the way it's gone in. I'm sure the plants will revel in there. Just a bit of nutrient just below the surface. And ideal once that's been firmed down. I'm going to be turning over the next two beds there. What I'll do then, I'll give that a good watering in to soak it in. And then I'll be looking to start planting the brasses there, probably within the next week or so. So that's it, done. I just had a quick look on the forecast and it, we may have a good chance of some rain tonight so I'm not gonna bother watering this in. If there's nothing arrives, I'll give it a little sprinkling tomorrow. That's about me done for today, so I'm gonna pop in, call it a day and see what I can find to do tomorrow. It appears the weather forecastman got it right. We have had some overnight rain. Not exactly sure how much though, but it seems to have wet the soil through. I'm happy with that. And it's forecast to stay here all day, so I'm just going to have a look in the greenhouse and see if there's anything that I can get occupied with in there, in the dry. Looking at the potatoes there, I've covered the sour piles up, and I've uncovered those that have actually popped the reds up. People have asked me why I cover them up with. Um, we've got a fox or a family of foxes on site, and they seem to like be happy digging in, in tubs and buckets and that. But once the foliage appears, they don't seem to bother. So that was the second one there, the other six there, there's a second sowing of the charlottes. They should be up within the next probably week or so. And these are the ones I did yesterday, the six Sarpa Mira. I need to be thinking about clearing this out now so I can get the auto watering system set up for the tomatoes and cucumbers. A lot of these can go out into that temporary coal frame storage I'll put on top of the bean bed. And uh, down here is my war baskets. I did a half-hearted effort to store them in here for the winter with the begonias in, but nothing seems to have popped up, so I've had to go and get some more plants. You join me in the greenhouse. The plan for today was to do a bit of al fresco planting, planting up the hanging baskets and, and the troughs and that, but uh, the weather's put paid to that, scuppered it. Not to worry though, it's most welcome rain, we really do need it, the soil is quite dry and with rain it's better than any additive you can add to soil and the plants just love it, so I, I'm not too bothered anyway. What I will say though, it does feel 10 degrees colder than it probably isn't but it does actually feel about 10 degrees colder than it today yesterday was shorts and t-shirts and i actually got burnt in the back of my neck but uh today it's it's now to be colder and there's a bit of a wind and all which is a chill anyway i've took refuge in here i'm going to be say planting some if not all of the baskets today i've started off with these troughs i'm actually replacing all the soil in here these have been in here probably i think it's Definitely two, maybe three years. So I'm giving it new soil. This is the Bathgate peat free range that's going in there. And there's is another additive I'd like to say. A big thank you to my friend Steve over at Digwell Green Fingers. Not only does he do some good gardening videos and cooking, but he's also quite sharp with the bargains and offers. The local water company, if you delve deep enough into their website, you can actually apply to them they send you these what they call swell gel which go into the soil and when more water's added it increases something like 200 times or something and what they do the roots actually cling onto these because the old moisture so i'll be adding these to the basket so thanks for that steve much appreciated uh, the plants as i said i tried half-heartedly to save the begonias Failing in here, I've had one or two corms come up, put them bound dry and just crumble, so they've had it. I've actually purchased some new ones, these are from my local market. 
and I bought 25 and I think that come to 30 pound I think and I've just popped them in these trays so easy to water from the bottom these are solid trays if you look on there it's stop bath then we go back to my ooh, photography days 30 odd longer than that 40 years ago 50 years ago actually <laughs> And uh, it's when I used to do my own uh, process in developing and stuff like that. I kept the trays. I've given them a good wash, steam cleaned and that, and uh, make good trays storage. You know, there's probably 15, 16 plants in each one of them. So I'm going to start planting these baskets up with a mixture of colours. And I'll see how we go and I'll bring you back a little bit later. This is the first of the manger type baskets done. There's four plants in and them different colours. I have also added a bit of blood fish and bone and some grab more in as extra feed. It's still chucking down at the moment, so I'm going to be putting this out in the going to get some rain on it, it'll do it good. I've got another one of these to do, plus four other round hanging baskets. The two manger baskets are complete now, so I'm going to start on the round ones. Now I've got a piece of uh, soil pipe here, it's about six inch diameter, 150 mil. And I've just cut it off, I mean about 2 inch thick, 50 mil, and I pop that down. And the hanging basket then just sits lovely on the top with no movement at all. In the past I've had used plant pots, pop them up, but they'll find them too high and add a bit of weight on the one side and they will topple over. Keeping it nice and squat like this, these really do work. A couple of the columns in this basket have started to pop the heads up. I'm not going to leave them in, I'll actually take them out and pot them up individually. I'll still remove all the soil and put new plants in here. A few hours later and it's still chucking it down with rain. So I've removed the covers from the carrot tanks. Let some of that soak in because I'll be sowing the carrots very, very soon. The garlic is really lapping it up. I've also removed the lid from the veggie pod here and they've really come on in the last few weeks. Well, despite the weather, we managed to get them all planted. I'm going to leave these out for another couple of hours. Hopefully the rain will continue and bed them in because they'll really enjoy that. As we move on now, we're starting to enter the garden show. And I know there's already been one or two around the country. But next Thursday sees the Morven Spring Garden Festival. Unusually, the uh, seed companies only appear at the autumn show. But I had an email a couple of days ago from DT Brown stating they'll be at the spring show and also I'll be having their pound per packet seed offer. So if you've got some to get, even for next year, make yourself a list and grab a bargain. I'll be popping along, so if you are at the show and you do happen to spot us, come and say hello. It's always nice to catch up with the subscribers and viewers. So that's about it for me. I'm going to go in now, in the dry, get changed, probably have a shower. So many thanks for watching. Stay safe all. Bye for now.